in today's video we are going to create an amazing poster design in photoshop grab your mouse as we dive in first things first we are going to create a new document choose a solid color with the solid color in place we are going to create another solid color Create a new layer, grab a soft hand brush, opacity is set to 100, foreground is set to white, and we are just going to click once. We are going to set the blend mode to overlay. Now let's grab our asset for this tutorial, Control c to copy, click Control v to paste. We convert that into a smart object. We are going to adjust this a bit. Now let's grab this group. We have two layers in this group. We copy all of them together. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Control T and we are just going to move it and adjust it a bit. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clip onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert with a soft hand brush. We are going to reduce the opacity. Foreground is set to white. And we are going to be painting some shadows. We are going to paint some shadows. This layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer so the effect applies only to the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert with a soft hand brush. For when it's set to whiten, we are just going to paint some back. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert with a soft hand brush. Foreground is set to white. Increase opacity and we are just going to paint. With this layer selected, with the mask selected, we are going to grab a soft hand brush. Reduce opacity. Foreground is set to black. Right click and change the roundness of the brush. Make the brush bigger and we are just going to erase this portion, the bottom here.
with this layer selected we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer with the mask selected control i to invert with the soft hand brush we are just going to paint some shadows reduce the opacity Create another exposure adjustment layer with the mask selected Ctrl I to invert with the soft hand brush. For when it's set to white, we are just going to paint some shadows. So we are going to create a solid color. Set blend mode to linear dodge add. Right click on the layer and go for blending options. Now we are just going to move this slider a bit. Hold down the alt key on the keyboard and we are going to break the handles. We hit OK. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft hand brush, for when it's set to white, we are going to increase the opacity just a bit, and we are just going to paint some back. With this layer selected, we are going to create another solid color with the same hair code. Then we hit OK. With the layer selected, we are going to set blend mode to linear dodge add. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft hand brush, for when it's set to white, we right click and change roundness and angle of the brush. We reduce the opacity, for when it's set to white. Now we are going to put a curves adjustment layer. Reduce the opacity. So we are going to finish it off with some contrast shadows. So we create a new layer. Grab a soft hand brush. For when it's set to black. Right click and change rawness of the brush. Opacity is set to 100. And we are just going to paint some contrast shadows. Now we are going to grab this texture and overlay it with everything and reduce the opacity to 10. Then we can finish it off. Once we have everything in place, then we are going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to match all layers. We earlier selected convert the layer into a smart object. Then we'll go for camera. All we are going to do is we are going to play with the settings until we like the outcome. Once that is looking good, then we hit OK. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I do hope to see you in the next one. Till next time, stay creative.